I don't know if we have any information on what you actually asked. That's the one that brought it up in the last council meeting. We said there's another investor, and your, your exact word, sir, was that we're going to have one in one place or the other. That's what you said. Well, where's the other place? Who's doing it, and what impact is that going to have? Uh, Fran Wilbers and Mr. Dewar. I think Mr. Dewar just recently passed, though, but she's already zoned that, and she's back behind uh, Fred's, Good. all the way up to the, going all the way up to the lake there, and then right very close to where uh, Hammond Lake is. They're going to have a, another retention pond. Well, we've got two applicants for this uh, drain or whatever it's called close this project. And I guess it's y'all, the investment group, or it's Miss Wilkins. Is that correct? That's it. Okay, so what's the chance who's going to get it? If these people don't get it, and is she definitely going to get it? And it's going to go on the other side of Horse Lot Lake? Yes. One or the other is going to one place or the other. Yeah, and there's somebody else puts in for it, too. Y'all understand that? Now, I understand that this relieves Hammond Lake. Okay, but it does not relieve horse lot lake. We're going to get it on one side or the other. So, you know, she I, I don't really think anything about she that. She has some problems there, too. That this is America, sir, and it's free. Well, I understand that. I, but I, I'm saying this for the residents there to realize that it's going one place or the other. So, I mean, if, if that is actually the case, it's one place or the other, then we need to decide which is the lesser of two evils. Well, you, there's no guarantee because that either application would actually be approved. That's exactly right. One has to go in or the other, maybe neither. That's what everybody wants. It's already zoned for that. It's already zoned. All they got to do is get permits. I know these people are going to be trying to well, and, I, and let me just say, in addition, if, if the other communities that have fought this exact same situation, there's a caveat in the law that indicates that substantiate the need of the community. If there are not enough renters in the community, that the, the, the tax deferments, the tax credits, do not. So if there's not enough there, then they can build it and tear it down. Okay.